Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and today was a rather quiet day. We slept in a little bit because we got home from the wedding a little late, and we were tired, I guess, and we slept. And my dog, I must have, when I bring the dog upstairs with me when I go to bed, and he has a little dog carrier up there that he likes to go in. Well, I put him in it, and I must have shut the door, but I must have forgot to lock it, because when I got up at around, oh, I don't know, around, might have been around 3 o'clock to go to the bathroom, I came back, and there he was on the floor. I stepped sort of on him, and he kind of made a little noise, and I said, Jake, what are you doing out of your house? Did I forget to lock you in? Well, he went, I says, in your house. And he went into his little carrier, and I shut the door, and this time he was locked in. I must not have latched it right, or I forgot to lock him in completely. And then at about, oh, I don't know, maybe 8.30, we got up. I got up and um, went down, and I fed Jake, let him go out, and I fed the chickens. And then I made some coffee, and I brought the coffee up, and we have our morning coffee in our room. We always do that on the weekend. It makes it kind of nice. Um, Jim reads a little bit while I'm downstairs, but by the time I come up, then he puts his book away and we talk about nothing and anything. I do most of the talking. He does a lot of listening. listening. Well, a lot of you have requested a picture of me in my red dress and Jim in his red tie. And you know, we didn't take any pictures not one but beholds to me or what what do i want to say there i i there was a word but i can't think of what i went it was um very strange you wanted to see a picture well unbeknown that's the word i was looking for unbeknown to me i was looking through some of my photos and i thought Gosh, I wore this dress, it must be now this is the third time I wore this dress. Because I wore it to another wedding. And you know the wedding I wore it to, it's really ironic. It was to the brother of the one that got married yesterday. So I have a picture of it and I look the same. Jim looks pretty much the same. I think the only difference is in that picture is he has a black eye. He's got a black eye. I gave him the black eye, <laughs> sort of. It's so funny. I'll have to tell you the story because it sounds bad. It sounds like I beat my husband up. No, I don't. What happened is he had vertigo, and um, we had I had brought him home from the hospital. He had to go to the hospital for this vertigo. It was really, really bad. And I brought him home, and he felt a spell of illness, so he leaned over the kitchen sink, and I thought he was done, so I went to rinse the sink out, and he had another bout, and of course the faucet was in, in the way, and he bonked himself really hard, enough to give himself a black eye. And so in the picture, he has a black eye. And that, that wedding was in Ohio when we went to that one, and I had to drive, and I don't drive far away. I get very, very um, nervous in traffic, and I had to go through work areas where it feels, I have a small car, but it felt like the road is so narrow, and I have to watch the wall on the one side, and the cones on the other side, and it's just kind of scary, and then when you're, when they have two-way traffic coming, you not only have the wall, you have um, the cones, and you have another person coming at you, it feels like. And so when we got there, we, we spent the night in Ohio for that wedding. And um, I wanted to go to check out some stores, but I had to drive. So I said to the people in the hotel, I said, is there any way that I can go shopping without making any left turns? Because I didn't want to cross over any highway. And so we had to go a fair distance to this um, shopping area. And it was all right-hand turns. And then when we came out, there was a light there, so I crossed the highway to um, go on to the, so when we came back, and when we got to where we were supposed to be, there was a light there also, so I could, I could turn into the 
it was like a four-way highway which is very very busy I'm not used to that I'm used to just a few cars here and there and nothing nothing so busy even going into any city any city it's it's hard and then if they have construction it's all the worse and then if you don't know where you're going or where you're supposed to turn it makes it really bad well I want to show you too because I had talked about that I had been hemming my daughter's dress I want to show you the dress so let's go and I will show you the dress okay I tilted the camera a little bit so that you can see now I had to this is this is two different skirts I had to cut I had to cut seven inches off so here's one skirt here's the other skirt and then I had to cut the the chiffon part which was this I had to cut that and then there was this part that was causing me trouble you see how it's kind of it's it's not it's it's a it's real skinny on one end and wide on the other and it was connected to the dress and here's the dress and see this part is the part that was giving me trouble this draping thing because it's connected but it's connected here but I had to figure out how I was going to cut it to make it um, lay nice and still look like I didn't destroy the dress and underneath it's got the, the extra layers so I had to hem that and when I was doing the chiffon part the it was it was crazy because I started to sew it and then I had to take it out and it's not easy to show sew, sew this stuff it's really and I'm not a dressmaker that is for sure but I got it done and she's supposed to wear it next Saturday so when she comes, she'll take it, and I know I might be a might be a tad long. I'm not sure. She she brought her shoes here, but I'd rather have it a tad long and drag a little bit on the floor than to have it um, too short. But I think it's probably perfect because when she put it on, it was it was perfect. So that's the dress I had to do. Okay, that was her dress. Had she bought the waltz length, I would not have had to to hem it at all because it would have been perfect length because when she was in the teen queen competition we bought a ball gown that was of the waltz length and it was perfect we didn't have to do anything to it but put straps on it so that it was um not going to fall down on her and that was it and so if jim gets the picture off my ipad you'll see that at the end so I will say goodbye, and if, if it's there, it'll be there. If not, we couldn't get it off. So you have a great day, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.